Hello and welcome to a new video on Scorn. Today I want to talk about a picture that was posted with the latest update for the game. The update and the picture itself are fairly separate. The update was stating that the game would be delayed again on account of the developers getting all the funding they need to actually finish a game, have both parts released, at once rather than just part one and then part two later. The picture in question is this, another bit of concept art. When I first saw this, I was looking all around for just what sort of lore and clues that could be found and of course the first and most obvious thing about the picture is that it was one of the scenes sort of in the teaser trailer. There's two brief scenes of what I assume to be the game's protagonist waking up in a flesh wall, taking a quick glance and going back to sleep. He has these cords sticking out of his back and overall just doesn't really look all that finished. And here's a better view of the scene itself. You can see one cord sticking out from the wall in front of him, but doesn't seem to be attached to him, and not able to be seen in this picture is one sticking out from his back. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting to me when comparing the two is if you look at his mouth area, even if it is covered in shadow, you can see it's maybe not exactly smooth, but covered up in fleshy material. Meanwhile, in this concept art, he actually looks like he has some teeth growing in. In fact, it looks like he has multiple layers of teeth growing in. In many ways, it's similar to what happens inside the skulls of babies. It can be pointed out that this Scorn guy here isn't exactly finished. He has no eyes, he has no eyelids, he doesn't even have a nose. Maybe, as far as we're concerned, that bunch of teeth is just the skull starting to form itself and it'll solidify into, well, something solid. And that is an observation that can be made. However, when looking for a higher quality version of this concept art than the one posted on Kickstarter. I went over to their Facebook page and they had this concept art but with some variation that shows it more complete than the one on Kickstarter and I will post it along with the old concept art so you'll see both one on top of the other. This is a point where I realized for absolute certain that this is what's being depicted in the teaser trailer. So it looks like the Scorn people are grown in walls. They have all of these fleshy tentacle connectors going into their bodies, probably feeding them nutrients. There's some going into their brains, which I assume is giving them the ability to think and interact with things and just general intelligence. Since if they're growing in walls and growing in this adult form, then they're not going to be learning stuff growing up and, you know, going through all the development that creatures on Earth do. It does bring up the question though, is it other scorn people growing these scorn people? Or is it some different species or different caste growing these scorn people and for what? But right now I'd like to point out that the teeth are still on his face. Which is odd because in other concept art the character doesn't seem to have any teeth at all. So it could actually be that they eventually solidify into a flat surface or maybe they're buried even deeper into the skull than I would previously have assumed. Or maybe this isn't the same sort of scorn guy as the one we're going to play as. 
in any case, I think this does answer the question of how scorn guys are made. Other questions, of course, arise. For example, why does this one only have three fingers and long finger nails when our scorn guy, the one we play as in the game, has five fingers? There is an unused model in the demo files called Parasite that has three fingers and long fingernails and additionally it has the uh, keyblade thing not just inserted into the hand but like straight up fused into it with a bunch of skin covering it that looked very similar to the arm here I'm not exactly sure if there's a connection or not it could be some different cast of Scorn Guy than the one we're playing, going back to that question of if it's these sort of Scorn people in control of the situation or some other entity entirely. There is something very factorial, I guess would be a word to use, even if it doesn't actually exist or does exist, I'm not entirely certain, about this whole thing going on. Because in the teaser trailer, going back to that stem emerging from the wall in front of him, that to me somewhat implies that they're all growing in a row. And that behind him some ways will be another scorned person and then even further behind that one will be another one. So they could be grown en masse. But again, for what and why? Is this just naturally how they're made, or is this a product of the biotechnological tinkering that this species apparently indulges in? Uh, one thing that also caught my eye was just how thick the skin was over the flesh. Compare that with human skin, and this guy is practically covered in calluses. But the emerging flesh under it also looks kind of familiar. It looks a lot like the weird fleshy nodes on his outfit right next to his lungs in the rightmost uh, scorn guy. So it is possible, contrary to what my initial theory was, that the outfit actually is grown on them while they are being grown in the wall and it isn't something he gets along the way in his adventure and you'll remember if you watch the video that the reason I thought that he gets it later on is because in this picture he has this thing wrapping his neck while in the teaser trailer he has nothing wrapping around his neck and it does sort of look like he has some sort of skin growing up around his neck. And in the second picture you can see the head is a lot more separated from the wall itself. This guy is almost done and ready to be released as far as it looks like. So that would be a part of him but even then it doesn't exactly have like the same uh, thickness to it and how far around it wraps around him so I guess it could still be a bit in the air as to whether or not he does get that outfit later in the game or not however it does still I think confirm one big part of my theory which is that the thing in the teaser trailer with him waking up really was the earliest uh, scorn guy you would possibly see Considering that we see even a version even earlier than that, not even as complete as the one in the teaser trailer, I think that's all but confirmed, though it is a question of will we be playing as that scorn guy or will we be starting out as a more complete one. One thing I also want to point out is that not all of the tentacles seem to be attached to anything. In fact, there's one stemming from his head and one stemming from what I think is his left shoulder put in a really awkward position that's just hovering above the wall. 
It sort of reminds me of the tentacle thing that's sort of hovering above his lungs in the rightmost picture that seems to be a part of a weird biomask he has on. They're probably very unrelated, but it is a parallel I've noticed nonetheless. Given how awkwardly positioned his left shoulder is, and I'm assuming that's his left shoulder, not the right arm of some scorn guy on the other side of the wall, I kind of wonder if the original idea of how scorn guys are made was this Mold Man character that appeared in the pre-alpha trailer, where you can see he sort of scrunched up awkwardly into this biomass uh, thing but for whatever reason this one probably wasn't finished or is a factory error or just has a lot of things wrong with him where his limbs are now sticking out assuming I am right and this is how new scorn people are made I still do wonder why in the teaser trailer he has no skin on his arms and his hands, but in the gameplay trailer, he has a bunch of skin on his arms and hands. And then in the picture they showed when the gameplay trailer was supposed to come out but was delayed for months, his hands and all, uh, lower arms have even more skin on them that's completely unbroken has no technology ingrained into it it's just all very odd and then just to top it all off it's just his hands and lowest most arms that has skin his upper arms is red and fleshy like the muscles are still exposed or something the concept art offers some answers but brings up a lot of questions for example what about this guy is he growing is this his development? What is it in relation to Scorn Guy? Unfortunately, the game has been pushed back as mentioned earlier, meaning we'll have to wait even longer for any concrete answers if there are even any to begin with. Hopefully, the game will at least provide enough to make a proper educated guess on the matter, but until then, we'll just have to look around at the scarce stuff Ebb Software provides and figure it out along the way. The developer said the next update will be in October so I guess we'll have to be waiting a month or so more until something new comes up. So until then I hope you enjoyed the video that I gave you something to think about and otherwise entertained you. Take care!